Hi everybody, you ever have that 3M broad tape stuff that goes on hoods of cars or on the RV? In this case, this is on my RV here. This is where the paint is normal. I was trying to use razor blades or things, solvents, and I got little nicks in the paint. And you can see that 3M over the years, this is 10 years old, turned black. It was that clear bra, that clear protectant, and underneath the paint. So for years, I didn't know how to get it off. And you can see over here, it's, it's gotten so bad where all the cracks fill in with dirt and the dirt fills in with molds and it becomes this black, brown, yucky stuff that won't come off. You can't get it off. Well, I've tried using solvents and stuff like that and nothing to avail. I was almost at a point where I was getting ready to take it to a paint shop and have them sand it all the way down and repaint, which would have been expensive. I recently read one article and I've been looking forever. You should call the company that makes this. They say try using a heat gun and peel it off, but you gotta do that before it starts to get to this point of cracking. Um, use hair dryers to no avail, heat guns to no avail, razor blades, solvents, none of that stuff worked. And I got some, this part here was done with solvents and a razor blade, but it was just tedious. This little piece, you know, probably took me 30 minutes. It was crazy. So I was just about to give up and I finally came across one article out of all the many that I read. You can see here where I was trying to use a heat gun. And you gotta be careful because it would bubble the paint underneath like it did over on this section here. It got so bad, oops, right down here. It got so bad it started to go through another layer of paint. It caused it to bubble right there. So like I said, I was gonna give up and go and call the place, but then what I did was I read an article where it said you can use a power washer. I tried an 1800 PSI power washer once with to no avail years ago, and this has been an ongoing problem for many years. I recently, last year, got a 3000 PSI and completely forgot about trying it again, and um, read another article where a guy had success with it. So I said, ah, oh, what the heck, let me give it a try. And as you can see, this whole section here was done with a 3000 PSI power washer. Kind of found it if you put the stream mostly directly on it instead of at an angle, but more perpendicular to the surface, it had better effect. There is residue left, that's that uh, adhesive, but I'm gonna use some goo gone after, and hopefully that will come up nice and easy because I couldn't even get to the adhesive because of that layer of yuck that was underneath it. So let me show you that. I just cleaned this little section here so it's kind of tedious and again there's a residue from the from the adhesive all this plastic ends up just busting up and flying with the water which is pretty much acting like a sandblaster and uh, be careful what you're wearing and everything because it goes all these little pieces are going everywhere and I'm wearing them mostly in my hair right now 
but hopefully that'll help you get rid of the headache years. that you have. This is actually on here for almost nine years. Uh, it starts to yellow and crack around the four year point. So if you have one of these clear bras, try to get it off before the four or five year point so it'll come up in one piece, which are most of the YouTube videos you see. But if it starts to crack, then it comes up in little tiny chunks. And I, like I said, I use solvents, I use plastic razor blades, metal razor blades, putty knives, everything. It's just too tedious. And this uh, power washing seems the way to do it. If it goes this long, like I had my problem with, um, be careful with a power washer. You, it will cut you at that kind of pressure. And if, unless you have strong paint underneath, you could actually go through layers of paint. So please be careful. Like I said, I got a little overzealous right there in that spot. But um, this seems to work for me and I hope it helps you because I was going through a nightmare if it wasn't that one article and I'm fr I can't remember who wrote it and, but just want to thank the person. This is, was my last resort before taking to a body shop so hopefully this is something that will help you and please be careful. Thank you.